Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. Modeling real life problems and solving them is one of the reasons Microsoft Excel is a very popular tool in offices. In our community, we call this Excel for Work. In this episode, we are going to look at a real life problem a case of a traveling doctor who wants to calculate allowances based on an Excel template. So we want to use Power Query to see how we can make life easier for this friend of mine. So if you want to see, join me in Excel and let's go through this in the next few minutes. So we start off with the basic template. Um, basically, he moves from region to region and for each region, is giving an allowance. So as an example, if he spends one night in Accra, it's 900 cities. And if he goes to Accra on the 1st and leaves on the 5th of January, based on the number of nights he spent, we are supposed to calculate the total allowance for him. So it goes on region and region. Now, he doesn't want the calculation to live in the same template. So he wants a report that will give him total allowance per region so that he can make a claim. So the fact that he doesn't want this to live in the same report means we have to use Power Query. So we use Power Query to first transform the data and then we use it to do the calculations that will give us the total allowance per region. Now to get Power Query, we are already having a table here. So I'll go to data and in the get and transform section i can now get data from this table i'm currently in so i will select my table and when my table pops up i have the same columns here region allowance start date and end date my goal here is to transform the data in such a way that for each night he spends in a region it will come as a rule so if he spends five nights in Accra, then we'll have five rows for Accra and so on. To be able to do this, I'm going to add a column. But before I do that, I'm going to convert these dates into whole numbers. You know, dates are essentially whole numbers. And I'm going to use this to create the number of rows based on the number of dates. So first, I'll come here and then convert the data type to a whole number. I'm replacing this current step. And I will do the same for the end date as well. Of course, to reduce the number of steps, you could highlight the two columns and then do it at a go. Now that we have this, I'll go to Add Column and I'm going to add a custom column. So now this is my custom column. I'm going to name this Dates. So I want my custom column to be the number of days or nights he spent converted into rows. So I'll bring a curly bracket and then I'm going to extract the number of days from this start date. So I'll select this start date, insert it, bring two dots, okay, and then add this end date and then insert that as well and then close my curly bracket. So basically what I'm saying here is I want to extract or see the number of nights or days from this start date to this end date in a row. So once I do that and I click OK, you realize that it generates this as a list. So if you preview, you click in one cell, you see that here I have from the first date all the way to the last date, okay, in cells. But this is not useful. We need to extract it into rows. So to be able to do that, I'll go into this icon here, a double arrow, click on it, and then expand to new rows. So with this done, I now have each night converted into rows. The reason we are doing this is to make it easy for us to sum or aggregate based on the number of rows that we get. So I can now get rid of these two columns. Okay, and now I now have my region, my allowance, and then the number of days that I have here. What is important is that we are able to group or aggregate the region by allowance. So I'm going to select region, go to home, and then we'll do our aggregation right here in Power Query. So I'll use group by. So group by works like some if or some ifs. 
and here I'm grouping this region. The new column name is total allowance because that is what I want to use to calculate my allowance. And I'm doing a sum operation on the new column that I created, which is allowance. And I will click OK. So with this, I now have aggregated the total allowance for each region based on the number of nights that he spent there. Of course, when we are done with Power Query, we have the option to load this as a separate table. So I will close and load this. So when my load option pops up, I'm going to place it in this existing worksheet. Okay, so let me just place it here and then I'll click OK. So without any calculations, we've been able to aggregate by converting the number of nights into rows and we have our dynamic Power Query report. Now, of course, we need to test this. So let's say he spends another night in Kumasi and the Kumasi rate is 700 Ghana cities. Okay, and he spends 8th February 2022 to 11th February 2022. When he enters this, this is an input sheet. Okay, then when he refreshes this data, look out for Kumasi. Kumasi just changes to 7,000. Of course, if we need to prove this, what he wanted to avoid was the calculations living in the same table. So we could have actually calculated the number of days here. So this is equal to this minus that plus one because I'm spending nights. Okay. And then I can now calculate my total allowance here. So my total allowance would have been multiplying this by the number of days. Okay. And then this gives me that. Now, because the regions repeat, I need to find a way to aggregate. I can use some ifs to do this, or I can use a pivot table. So I can also, so here, I'm going to insert a pivot table right here so that we can compare. I'll put it here and then I'll click OK. And I'll analyze my total allowance by region. Okay. So we basically gets the same let me add the total row so if you compare the two tables we have the same answers but power query gives him a report that doesn't make him calculate in the input sheet and these are some of the ways that you can use excel to solve some of your routine office problems so please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.